At about two days from the Vendée Globe's arrival, focus is at its peak at the head of the race. No longer time to communicate. Yesterday afternoon's video transfer of Armel Leclerc was clear. This is one of the last videos on board Bon Populaire in this Vendée Globe. We've got beautiful sunshine right now. We enjoy it at max. Afterwards, it's going to overcast soon with the hard blowing winds. The weekend will be stirring. Anyway, thank you to all who've encouraged and followed me. See you all soon in Les Sables de Dolon. Ciao, ciao. In these last hours across the Assaut archipelago, Armel Leclerc and François Gabard have speeded up consequently. At the last ranking on the finishing line, Massif was ahead of Bon Populaire by 108 miles. Still in the race despite a keyless boat, Jean-Pierre Dic remains in third position. Maybe not for long, given the 70 miles that separate him from Alex Thompson. The tall blonde man with the blue boat has trouble admitting defeat. You've got to hold up to the tension. I always tend to add more sails. Yesterday I was about to put up the spinnaker. I had to reframe myself. I've got the Jenny out heading downwind. And I'll lower the sails at some point to balance the weights in the boat. I try not to heal the boat too much because past a healing angle, it'll capsize. And I'd find myself like Jean Le Cam in the last edition inside my boat. Even if I got everything ready in case, it would be sad. Off Brazil and in seventh position, Dominique Vavre isn't unhappy to live up his last days in the South Atlantic. There, the train winds stretch. We finally can start steering northward. Mirabeau is happy. Feels good. To head straight to Les Sables d'Olonne. It's been a while we've been waiting for this. And here, finally, straight route to Les Sables d'Olonne. It's a great day to do so. The South Atlantic has been long and difficult, so now comes the treat.